Hello and welcome to our third day in Zagreb, Croatia. Today we're going to continue our journey of finding the 15 coolest places to go in Croatia's capital. We'll be visiting famous monuments, learning about broken relationships, and enjoying lots of street art. Oh, and of course, visiting a vintage store as per usual. Okay, let's go. So it is currently Easter Monday, so things are... A lot of things are closed, but the main sites are still open. Built in the 13th century, these gates are one of Zagreb's most important sites and house the city's biggest shrine. These walls have been through a lot. In 1731, a fire destroyed much of the surrounding city, yet the wall's painting of the Virgin Mary remained, by some sort of miracle, undamaged by that fire. To show their awe and amazement, citizens built a chapel within the arch of the old stone gate, which is still visited by worshippers today. We are on our way to St. Mark's Church, which looks even more stunning during the daylight. A short two-minute walk away from the stone gate is St. Mark's Square, where you can find the beautiful and distinctive St. Mark's Church. The most unique part of the church is its colorful tiled roof, which is constructed to represent the coat of arms of Zagreb. Directly down the street from St. Mark's Church is our next destination. Now we are going to head to the Museum of Broken Relationships. Now, what the heck is a museum of broken relationships and why would I want to go there? The setup is simple. Each item on display comes with a short story written by the person who donated it describing the role it played in their broken relationship. While one might expect the museum to be sappy, boring, and focus solely on failed romantic relationships, you'll see you're wrong the moment you enter. This Baroque palace turned museum covers the entire spectrum of the human experience and showcases stories about everything from relationships with family members to relationships with pizza. Both humorous and heartbreaking, this museum provides an experience unlike any other. Now it's time to see some more art in the city, but this time we're heading to the streets, or should I say, the park. Zagreb is famous for its green spaces and public art, and located directly behind the Europa Square and the main cathedral is where you'll find a perfect mixture of the two. The Art Park Zagreb project started in 2016 and showcases both local and international artists, while also hosting free public events in the warmer months to bring some accessible color to the city. The beautiful public murals don't stop there. Head over to Opa Tovina, where you can spot the Gulliver's Travel-inspired mural and continue your journey of discovering Zagreb's vibrant park art scene, most of which is actually funded by the Zagreb Tourist Board. After admiring some park art, you can walk a few minutes to the Tukalcheva, which is lined with cafes and bars if you're interested in taking an afternoon break. I, however, was determined to see one more of Zagreb's street art infused green spaces. Oh, there are so many stairs in Zagreb. Want a view and some art? This is actually just a two minute walk away from the Museum of Broken Relationships. And here in the sunken mural park, you can find murals that pay homage to Croatian inventors or those with a connection to the country, including Nikola Tesla, the Serbian American inventor. And the best part is after admiring this beautiful public art, you can soak up some panoramic views of the city. Two big things I've noticed about Zagreb so far, it's that it is that it's hilly and windy. And I kind of need a new jacket because it's spring, it's not quite warm, it's not quite cold, so let's go find one um, at a vintage store. Situated in a small courtyard just a few minutes away from the city center, you can find this hidden vintage gem. Its name translates directly to street wardrobe in English, and it's a great place to find clothes and articles that have stood the test of time while also enjoying a really relaxed and authentic shopping experience. Although I didn't find the perfect jacket, this adorable store still remained a total highlight of my trip. But don't try going here on Easter Monday, I actually went the next day on Tuesday. That's all for our day in Zagreb. Stay tuned next week for castles, snow, and a haunted adventure in the mountains. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on our next adventure. Bye!